Hey guys, Ryan here from RMC Gaming, and I'm doing a short review of the new Ziltek gear printer. I'll be going over the things I like and some of the things I dislike about the machine. And we'll start with the board. This comes with a MKS Robin Nano 32-bit board. It's fantastic. It has 2208 drivers on the X and Y axis, which means it is very quiet compared to some of my other printers. Uh, it has a touch screen. It is very responsive. It comes with pre-installed Marlin 2.0, but I will have an updated version for you. I will post in the description to update that to an even newer version. All right, as for the machine itself, it has all metal construction. Nothing on this is plastic. It has built-in tensioners on the y-axis and the x-axis. Makes it really easy to keep your belts tight. The hot end. It has dual part cooling. And it is a volcano style hot end. The extruder it is an all metal extruder assembly with a filament runout sensor. It is a dual Z machine. And it has a sink belt on top. The frame is very stable. And it is a very flat bed, so it's really easy to level your bed. The things I think you could use improvement is the Z-Stop switch. I do like that it's adjustable. That's fantastic. What I don't like is if you don't use their Ziltek mat and decide to go with a mirror or a glass plate, you have to raise this so tall it wobbles around so you can see it wobbling. Which that could move and adjust your leveling at the beginning when you hold your machine. So what I'm going to do is get a different spring to put in there. That's what I did with my other one and it solved that issue completely. The other thing is the x-axis does not have an eccentric nut on it to tighten it. So far it hasn't been a problem and I was told you can adjust it with these right up here. But it would be nice to have later down the line when the wheels start to wear out. It is a very solid frame with eight bolts on each side. So I have not noticed any Z wobble yet. I've done quite a few prints on this. The spool holder is, well, it's just a spool holder. I'll probably get a better one, but it works. The strain relief for the bed, I feel like you could use some work, someone could design one. But I do like that the bed will actually unplug from the cable. So if you had to disassemble it, it would make that very easy. I'm printing one of my little test dogs now. I will put a picture up after it's done. Overall, honestly, I really like this printer. It produces great prints. It's quiet. I haven't had any problems with my other one. This is my second. And I actually plan on replacing all my CR10s with these eventually. As for the price, it is listed at $400. And I will have a 15% off discount which I believe takes it to like 370 after taxes and the machine I would compare it to CR 10 S Pro which starts off at 530 something dollars so already this is a fantastic deal for what you're getting out of this printer also in the description I will put a profile of my slicer for simplify 3d and I will put a PID tuning numbers in because 
this one will fluctuate a little bit when you get it. It's not terrible, but I do suggest getting a silicone sock for it. Helps out a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.